The purpose of this video is to give you a little idea of how to use some of the uh, tools in the interactive web map for the web district. Uh, so we're going to touch this link, but as you can see here, this interactive map that's actually run through ESRI requires the Microsoft Silverlight plugin in your browser in order to work. But it will, it will uh, if you go to the link to the interactive, it should tell you whether or not uh, you have Silverlight, and if you don't, it should give you the opportunity to go ahead and load it. So Explorer is currently loading with our base map. Uh, it'll come up with Lake County Boundary and the map in general. And you can see there's a couple of items. We have a dashboard. We also have uh, a, legend bound, a legend information along the uh, left-hand side. So if we type the legend, it gives us a little bit about what's going on. You can see the red boundary represents Lake County. We have the, uh, the five current school members, uh, board members, and you can tell as I hover over them, those stick pins will actually explode. Uh, there are color coded and you have the uh, district plan which is the current option that's being reviewed by the board and and with this you can uh, actually let's say let's click on district one uh, you can see the dashboard will populate as well as a a uh, pop-up will will come to the top of the screen and give you some basic information about uh, that particular district and the statistics for that district. We can close that down. Now, what we can do is we can hover. As we hover, you can t see that the the uh, the map changes as well as the information along which does a comparison between the two districts. And again, as we hover over here, we can see different stats that relates to. Uh, let's say in this case, we can look at the uh, Hispanic population between the two districts that we clicked on. We also can look at the number of educational facilities as they relate to elementary, middle, and high, uh, the total population uh, respected by each one of those districts, and the total numbers of uh, educational student stations as it relates to those as well. So uh, the dashboard is very good. You can, again, close that information. You can go into here, and if you uh, go to the bookmarks, we'll go back to, we'll go ahead and close um, the map legend. And for instance, let's say that we want to go to, uh, let's say, zoom in on District 3. Uh, takes us down to District 3, uh, just in the southeast uh, corner of the county. And one of the other things is there's if you if you hover in this bottom left-hand corner, you can see there's the navigational tool. It allows you to move left and move right, zoom in, zoom out. You can also use, if you have a roller ball, you can also zoom in and zoom out with your roller ball. You can left hold your mouse button and move the map to any particular location. So let's type in an address. I think I've already put in, let's type in the courthouse, which is 315 West Main Street. And of course, you'll need to put in uh, uh, the uh, city and the state. Once we've got that, we just click Enter. Uh, as you see, it'll go down to the, uh, the courthouse down on Main Street in Tavares, and it also populated with the uh, tax parcels as well. So hopefully this gives you, give you a pretty good idea about how some of the features of the interactive map work.